The last game of this third day was between Argentina and Guyana. Argentina scored for the first time in the second minute and kept going till the end. Argentina once again demonstrated to be better in every aspect and also showed an excellent level and an outstanding individual performance of each player. They scored 11 goals, three of them from penalty corners. Guyana had no goal opportunity. Argentina had a penalty stroke, but Guyana's goalkeeper saved it with a great catch. The first half ended 11-0. The second half was similar to the first one. Argentina scored 11 goals more and Guyana had one goal opportunity but couldn't score. The final result was 22-0. Hi, how is it to play against a really experienced team? It's a really good experience. Uh, we probably might not ever get a chance to do this again. And it was great because they're like our idols. They're number one. We're like now, now improving in the game. So it was really exciting. I mean, we tried to keep our head in the game and play without making them feel superior to us. But all in all, it was really good. And did it have any effect on you playing against this crowd? Um, I try to avoid playing the crowd and more play my game instead of letting them tamper with how I play. So, not really. It's nice to have a good crowd out though, cheering you on. <laughs> on Thursday, you're up against Uruguay. Have you started the, their game? Um, we've played Uruguay before. They've uh, unfortunately uh, defeated us, but we try hard to, to defeat them this time. Play hard and come out to win. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Bueno, primero que nada, felicitaciones. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que más destacas de este partido? <laughs> nada, la actitud del equipo, que es, nada, es, cuesta mucho mantener la concentración con estos rivales, pero nada, contentas, obviamente fue un, un marcador bastante abultado, pero, pero muy bien. Guyana les logró atajar varios penales o defenderlos. ¿Te parece que eso es algo para mejorar para la semifinal? Y como te dije antes, cuesta mucho concentrarse y estar al 100% en estos partidos porque no, ellas no, tienen, no tuvieron llegadas y, y siempre cuesta, pero la verdad que o sea, no, no creo que haya mucha, mucha preocupación, creo que son, son partidos. Bueno, el jueves se viene la semifinal contra Chile, ¿qué piensan sobre ese equipo? Todavía, no sé, recién terminamos de jugar, eh, ya en la charla técnica nos plantearían cómo, cómo jugarle a Chile, así que nada, esperando. Y bueno, hipotéticamente, si llegan a la final, ¿qué preferirían, Canadá o Estados Unidos? Eh, cualquiera de los dos, creo que Estados Unidos es superior a Canadá y es un equipo mucho más dinámico y más fuerte físicamente. Muchas gracias y suerte. De nada.